So hello everyone. Welcome back on another video on MATLAB Elements. So in this video, I am going to explain you about the disconnected inverter and the build of our MATLAB simulation for the same. We are using the three level uh, inverter and they convert the DC, DC power into the AC power and net power is comprised with the grid boost frequency with the the matter is with the grid frequency and uh, the magnitude of the voltage is measured with the grid voltage. So the basic component required for the grid inverter is the DC source and the, you can replace the DC source with your solar inverter in your solar TV, PV and, uh, and uh, this is connected with the inverter and uh, the output is of the inverter is connected with a filter and the filter is generally used for equalizing the current ripple. Okay, so you can use the L filter, C filter, L filter, L C filter, and L filter. So L filter is uh, when you are using the L filter, it will be bulky in size. Uh, so you can you can go for the L C L filter. So when you are using L C L filter, the size of the filter will change with the duration. Okay, so the next is. Uh, you need to connect with the grid. Obviously, if you are working with the grid time water, you need to connect with the grid. Okay, so these are the basic uh, things we must know about these things. Now, uh, the with respect to control uh, controls, uh, we are using the active and reactive power control. So for that one, we are using the synchronous reference frame based theory. So before going into the controls, first we will understand how the LCL filter is going to design. So to design the LCL filter for the particular rating, we there are some equations, some sort of equations that uh, uh, what is the resonance frequency, what is the uh, your switching frequency, what is the decaying voltage, what is the line to line voltage, and what is your ripples in the current. Uh, is required. So these are the things which we uh, which we must know before designing the LCL filter. So the DC link voltage which we have considered that is 800 volt. The switching frequency is 10 kilohertz, and the grid fundamental frequency is 50 hertz. And the power rating which we have considered is the 10 uh, kilowatt. And, and the grid voltage line to line voltage is 400 volt. Therefore, the phase voltage will be DLL by square root of 3. Okay, and uh, the grid current will be as uh, the total power divided by the rate of power phase grid power. And uh, how much current ripple we want when we design the uh, LTL filter. So it will be uh, 0.03, and then the X is some factor uh, which we have used in the equation. Okay, so based upon this equation, the uh, inverter. Uh, Filter inductor will be VDC divided by 8 into the switching frequency uh, multiplied with the grid current into uh, the current ripple. That is the delta IG. And the filter capacitance will be X times of this equation. There will be some uh, damping uh, ratio which we have which we need to calculate. So the damping register will be calculated based upon this equation and the resonance frequency will be calculated based upon this equation. Okay, so once we will evaluate this, uh, so you can connect, you can directly uh, press F9 by selecting this one. So the value of the, uh, you can see that the inverter, inverter inductor is 24 mic, 24 milli Henry and you can see that uh, your grid side inductor is uh, 2.4 uh, like it is a 0.24 mini henry okay so and resonance frequency is 2.3 kilohertz okay so now based upon this we will go to the simulant and we will keep all the values here okay so this is the inverter size so inverter size is it is a 24, so we will change it to 24 milli henry 
and uh, this is the grid size so we have kept it to 24 uh, like 24 millimeter further the capacitance is 1.94 uh, e minus 5 that is if you look looking towards the capacitance that is Ef is 1.94 E minus 5. So the same capacitance value we have kept here. Okay. So now uh, if we are looking at the three phase source, we have considered as 415 volt at the 50 volt. And the base voltage will be 450. And the configuration we have considered as uh, the star ground configuration. So there are different configurations for different uh, for the grid. So we have used the star ground connection. So do not flow is green. So now uh, we will see the dissipation of voltage. How much we have considered? We have considered the 800 volt. And uh, now we will go to the inverter part. So the inverter is normal uh, three level inverter. We have connected with the IGBT that with anti collider diode. So the switching pulses is connected with the S1 and the S2 are complementary, S3 and S4 are complementary, S5 and S6 are complementary. So this is the uh, complete power circuit. Now we will go to the control circuit. So control circuit, as we already discussed, that we have used the uh, input reference frame based theory where three phase quantity is converted into the DC quantity and in the DC quantity we have better control on the active power and the reactive power. So for the three phase and for the three phase inverter we need to control the inverter output voltage and the inverter output voltage should be in phase with the grid voltage. Therefore, we need a PLL that is a phase low PLL. So, what we do in the PLL, we are taking the three phase voltages and the voltage is converted into the ABC to the DC domain. So, so, first we convert it to ABC to alpha beta and from the alpha beta to DQ0. So, after converting to DQ0, we are making Q axis parameter to 0 and that is feeding into the PI controller. So, when we are feeding the PI controller, the output is added with the power plus low frequency that is 2 pi and 50 hertz for the fundamental 50 hertz. And uh, the omega integration of omega will be to the theta. And uh, okay, so now you will look at the each and every block. So, this is the alpha abc to alpha beta transformation and uh, this is the alpha beta to dq transformation so you must know about this what rotating plane we have kept there is a 90 degree difference for the phase a phase okay and uh, the pi values which we have considered are that is 42.3 and 7.23 and uh, this feed time and sample time is 5 to 9 Okay, and uh, this is the mode. So now, once the PLL output will get into the theta, and uh, to control the uh, active and reactive power, we have to convert the uh, the current also into the DC plane. So the three phase inverter output current is converted into using alpha beta to DQ transformation into DQ zero phase. Okay, so here. ID reference and IQ reference and uh, this reference and actual values are subtracted and given to the PI controller and uh, the PI controller using the uh, synchronous reference frame based theory uh, this is the basic uh, model so the PI controller is PI values are defined uh, based upon the what is the bandwidth of the PI so the formula which we have to tuning the PI controller is this formula. So Kp will be two times of uh, zeta is omega into in 
end of the that is the inverter coil and uh, that is the ti is equal to l inverter into omega into r that is that is the omega into r okay so these two values we have used to use the pi value pi control value so so here that is uh, 24 What was the L inverter that is 24 will be right? And here also I need to change this 24 milli Henry. So I'll delete this and I'll copy it and paste it. Paste it over here. Okay. Again, uh, if you are looking in this one, here it is uh, 2 pi into L in one, that, that is 24 milli Henry, and this is also 24 milli Henry. Okay, and then again, this is going to be converted into the ABC, and we have divided it by 1 by VDC, that is 800 volt. And making the limit of minus 1 to 1 and these are the resource quantities so this is the uh, relational operator and triangular waveform which we have generated the up down counter whose magnitude is minus 1 to 1 so now we will go to the measurement and we will run the simulation Okay, so what we will do, we will just make the, uh, okay, so we will run it first. So this will show you the XP power, this will show you the DXP power, this, this will show you the voltage and this will show you the inverter output current. And, uh, This will show you the FP and FP power. So now, what we will do, we will just make uh, the XP power to 0 and uh, the XP power also we will make towards 0. Okay, so you can see that the XP and the XP power is approximately 0. Now we will increase the ID reference. Okay, so you can see that the XP power is going to increase and further increasing. ID reference, you can see the XP power is also increasing, but still the DXP power is almost zero. So now, if we are increasing the DXP power, so it will increase the DXP power in the reverse direction. Okay. So if we are further, in, if we are decreasing the DXP power, so it will changing the DXP power in the positive direction. So further, so XP power. It is doing the similar thing. So again, we are making it to zero. XP power and the DXP power also it is getting going to control. Okay. So I have made the uh, almost XP power equals to zero and so the XP power equals to zero. XP power some XP power and we will see the Phase difference between them. Okay, so now you can see that the yellow waveform, this is the VA and this is the inverter current. So you can see that this is the inverter current and you can see both are in the same phase, almost same phase. Okay, so now what I will do, I will change the DXP power and uh, I will show you the how the angle is changing. Okay. So now you can see that this is at uh, 0 and uh, this yellow wave 
behind of the uh, yellow in the voltage. So this is the real quick organ flow, uh, actually an real quick organ flow using uh, intro circuit and this flow is. And you are having a battery flow for the actual electric power with this one. So if you have any queries uh, for to control the actual electric power for the grid tile inverter, uh, you can comment here in the comment section and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a good day.